Today I want to go through the VMC table. I want to talk a little bit about what it is, uh, what I think is a very good way to arrange it, and a couple of other items uh, about the VMC table. And then I want to go through and I actually want to generate the entire thing. So this is probably not going to be one video, it's probably going to be a series of videos and uh, probably best if you watch them in order. Probably also best if you full screen uh, the, the video because I'm going to be writing pretty small and uh, you might want to you might want to have it opened up unless uh, let's see I'm gonna write about well it didn't work I'm probably going to be writing about this big so if your screen is big enough that you can read this you're gonna be okay if not uh, maybe maybe best not to um, maybe best to have something different let's get rid of this there we go Anyway, we'll get rid of the title here, and uh, we'll start drawing the table. Now, I previously talked about VMC in general. VMC is the uh, ratio of VMC is the ratio of available engine power to available. Oh, that's a mess. There we go available rudder power. So basically as the engine gets stronger uh, VMC increases, as the engine gets weaker uh, VMC decreases. And that's pretty um, pretty self-explanatory so we can get rid of that. Um, but we didn't, uh, we didn't actually talk about the table itself. So what I want to do is create the table and uh, get it to where we can actually do something useful with it. So we'll get started. Um, the first thing that we ought to do is uh, we really ought to arrange the table like this. Uh, there's a particular way that I think works best to arrange the VMC table. And it works something like this. Uh, we've got the various VMC factors. So the VMC factors kind of go as follows, and and you might want to you might want to arrange them like this. Um, factor number one, center of gravity, C of G, center of gravity. It doesn't really look like a C; it kind of looks like a G. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll try it again here. Um, center, there we go. Center of gravity. Uh, number two, bank. Number three, weight for power, five, density altitude, six, I ran out of room, so I'm going to continue here, uh, drag devices, seven, uh, feather uh, windmilling prop, or sorry, the prop itself, and eight. Last, uh, the critical engine. All right. So, I really recommend that you arrange the VMC factors in this order, and the reason that I say that is because bank and weight are related, power and density altitude are related and the drag devices and the dead prop are related. So if you can explain one of these, you can explain the other. And that's really nice, uh, because you don't really have to remember six explanations anymore. Now all you have to do is remember, um, well, four explanations, plus the, plus the critical engine. So um, I really do think that this is the best possible way to lay out the table. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out the table like this. We're going to say uh, VMC factors There we go. VMC factors and we're going to just lay them out. Uh, center of gravity bank weight um, power Density altitude, 
drag devices uh, the dead prop and the critical engine So there we go. Center gravity, bank weight, power, density, altitude, drag devices, dead prop, and the critical engine. Now, as far as uh, what we care about, well, we don't really care about raising VMC. We only care about lowering VMC. So, how do we arrange the elements in order to lower VMC? And, how do we arrange the elements in order to increase performance. Well, there we go. Uh, how do we lower VMC and how do we increase performance? This is basically um, step one of laying out the VMC table. And from here what we're going to do is we're going to lay out each of the various factors and we're going to um, explain how it goes basically. So we'll see where we go from here.